Hello everybody at the House of Music. This is Tim Brown from Lindell Luthery. Hello. And he is also going to be in here um, frequently to do some in-house repairs and um, consultations for acoustic electric guitars, or sorry, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, and basses as well. Absolutely. Right? And Tim's going to talk to us today about um, the acoustic guitar and why you might need what's called a setup. And I'm going to hand it over to Tim. Good. Thanks, Mike. It, it might not be obvious. I mean, an acoustic guitar um, looks kind of static when it's, when it's just sitting there. But actually, what's happening is that the guitar is interacting with your, your body and your body fluids and the weather. And so as you play the guitar, your fingers transfer oils and sweat to the strings. And that changes the properties of the strings and means that the tone of the guitar will change over time. And so usually after you've used strings regularly for, say, six months or a year, they'll start to sound flat or they'll, they'll sound dead, as a lot of people will say. And so changing the strings can make a big difference on how it feels and how it sounds. And that also goes for the wood parts of the guitar, the neck and the, and the body and so forth. Also uh, are interacting with humidity in the air and temperature of the air and also your, your, your body fluids again. Um, and so when you change strings then, it's often a great time to take a look at, for example, the net, neck adjustment, which can have a big impact on how the guitar feels and some impact on the tone of the guitar also. And it's something that periodically needs to be adjusted because it is constantly responding to the conditions and the environment. The, the acoustic guitar also has the important pieces of the, the nut, which where the strings rest at the top of the neck, and the saddle. And these can be adjusted to a person's playing style so that we can, we can change the height of the strings above the neck, which is a huge factor on how the guitar feels, and also the the relationship of the strings or the radius of the of the surface of the strings can be adjusted this way. So you can make a huge difference in how the guitar feels by adjusting this neck in terms of its shape and size and and also the nut also its shape and size will have a huge impact on, on how comfortable it feels. And how often do you recommend acoustic guitar players a change their strings and B how often should they sort of get the annual tune up should it be biannually should it be every six months or every year I think uh, that has a lot to do with the player and if, if you're playing a lot six months would be a great frequency to keep the guitar feeling great and sounding great and the reality is when you get your guitar back from an expert like Tim, and I'm not just saying this, when you get your guitar back and it's set up, it feels like a new guitar. And right. you're, and the inspiration for playing is tenfold. And it just, it's amazing, the transformation. A good setup um, by a professional will often make it feel better than when it was brand new. Right. Depending on, on the shipment on the vendor, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that you bought it from. Uh, they may they may set it up professionally before they put it out, or they may not. Right. So so it's a great it's a great way to start with a new guitar is to have it looked at and set up according to your preferences. For example, some people like strings really close to the frets of the neck, and some people like it a little further away. Great. And usually, if you're in need, um, you'll you'll be. If you're really paying attention, you'll be noticing some things like the guitar is resisting. And playing. buzzing. Re buzzing is a... Is Fret another. buzz, string buzz. Fret buzz and string buzz are a huge uh, clue that something isn't isn't aligned properly. Okay. Or maybe the frets aren't level, things like that. Um, you shouldn't see any cracks or any unusual bowing of the guitar top. 
that's an indication something might be amiss. And this goes a little bit beyond the setup. Um, and we so, are in Minnesota weather, so yes. this is not far-fetched. This is Absolutely. possibly a reality. Absolutely, and, and most players will tell you about how their guitar changes in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. the, the extremely dry air literally shrinks the guitar. And so uh, the metal parts tend to get a little oh, okay. relative. They're, they're a little bigger then, and so things happen like the frets start to stick out from the sides a little bit, and you might have parts loosen up that were tight in the, in the more humid summertime, things like that. Okay. So the name of the game is either every six months or every year, definitely get your guitar set up or tuned up. String the change the strings more often than you think because that can actually affect your guitar from all the oils and dirt yes. and it's just inspiration for playing when you have fresh strings or remotely fresh strings you play better that's, that's just a very fact. true that's very true for me there's nothing nicer than, than new fresh strings uh, freshly set up you just want to play right. all day and do you have any string recommendations? I think it's different for every player. And what I remember when I was starting guitar, I tried every brand because they're affordable. You know, right. the packs of strings are affordable. And I would try um, multiple brands until I found the one that, you know, just felt best. That's a great, a great, great idea. And also different weights of strings. Mm -hmm. um, some players prefer a really heavy type of a string, and some players prefer a lighter Type of okay, that's so good to know too. Play all those so this is Tim at Lindale Luthery, but you can see him at the House of Music too, and catch Stop him it. online or Lindale's House of Music. Thank you.